What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Gucci. Get it gone. At the infamous, you know, Better It Up Customs, man. Got my boy Dayton. Impala SS over here. 26 inch Impala SS replica wheels with the 7 inch lip. All the suspension work done by the best. You know. Whew. Look at them big brakes, man. Them big brakes is where it's at. Them the same type of brakes I'm coming with on the dunk. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Look at that. Under there, everything looking brand new, fresh and so clean. I should have got a lot of better uh, footage for y'all when he had it up on the lift and stuff like that, but it's ready for my boy to come pick it up, man. It's looking real good. And I'm talking about it's tucking. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no rubbing, no scrubbing. He cleaned up the frame. Everything looked real good. And I mean, they took this car last night. And I mean, it's not uh, rubbing at all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about Big Lou and, and Tim was in there. They got some size on them. And it was riding. I ain't going to lie. Had me sold. I don't even like Impalas like that. But this one, I ain't going to lie. Y'all might as well go and crown him, man. He looking so good. Open it up for y'all. He got the interior done. You know what I'm saying? See, he got that nice. See, he got a cloth on his seat. He ain't playing. Got the nice perforated. You see it? What, what you talking about? Oh, he wants y'all to know. You know, bet it up. He always got special requests on my videos. He got to put in detail. You know, everybody be cutting their little trim and stuff like that. Or getting rid of it, my bad. You see it up under there? He said everybody be taking this trim off the Impalas. Nah, this one's still on there the right way. And y'all see it's tucking. No rub, for real. You know what I'm saying? 26s. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, crown him, man. Griselda. <laughs> My boy Dayton killing them. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. This bitch nasty. Got the three-stage roof in there. And it is a 96. Y'all see that stick in the flow. Come on. Let's go. You're going to take me for a cruise, y'all. Just so y'all know, it ain't no cap. Young blood. That's Litem right there, y'all. <laughs> Don't never let him dry y'all shit though. He gonna beat the hell out y'all shit, bro. Man, what's up? I don't do that. <laughs> we, res we respect people car right? Yeah, now y'all do. Y'all used to be tearing my shit up. <laughs> we all good now, you know. Man, Gucci just saying so. Man, I'm just talking. But y'all see, like, look, we hit dips and everything. Lyman straight. You get. You turn the wheel just to the left. It goes to the left. Turn the wheel to the right. Goes to the right. Steering wheel nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's right. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Look, you got the power antenna working. This joint nice. I ain't gonna lie. I'm rocking Look, with. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm rocking with the Apollo. What y'all think, man? This this one. I never really, like when I was a kid, I'm going to tell y'all a little story with me with the Impalas. When I was a kid, I always was like, man, I want a 96 Impala. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up getting the 96 Impala. That was like my first real car. You know what I'm saying? My boy had a Monte Carlo SS and the Monte Carlo SS was actually my dream car. You know what I'm saying? Man, we went to get the racing. He smoked me. I was like, oh yeah. Selling the Impala. And that's when I started rocking with the MCs. Overly heavy. And I don't think I haven't had a 96 Impala since. No, I had two actually after that. I had my first one was a 95 and then I had two 96s. But yeah, y'all see it ride good. Oh yeah, no rubbing. And he's getting on it and everything. Oh yeah. Look, I told him he don't beat on it. He was beating on it. <laughs> what we doing about 70 and the 35? That's beating. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, nah, he ain't doing. He doing good, man. You gotta test drive the cars because you gotta understand in this. You gotta drive these cars as if you was the owner. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to overly baby the car, and then the owner get out there, and then he start having issues with the car. But like I said, they get getting on it a little bit. Ain't gonna do nothing to the car. You know what I'm saying? As long as nobody want, ain't doing no donuts and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to get in it on your car. You want to hit the gas. You want to get into the gas. You know because you want to hear. You want to know if you hear any type of scrubbing, rubbing, scratching, all that yeah. shit. Y'all hear him. He's young, but he know what he's talking about, man. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I remember when he was little, little. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been rocking with Better Up for a long time. We had a little falling out, but we all good now, man. Uh, just a lot of little mis miscommunications and stuff like that. But like I said, when it comes down to the suspension work and stuff like that, ain't nobody touching them, bro. Like... If you feel like your suspension dude is better, hey, go for it. It don't really matter, but I vouch for him. You know what I'm saying? Every car that I never rode in that he done, always ride good. Like, legit, this, like, the way this car ride, if we wanted to go take this car to Florida, you could literally jump on the highway as it is. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. issues or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Lil Tim, you know what I'm saying, for taking us on the test drive. Look at, he look like a little kid, bro. I don't even know why they got him driving. I'm supposed to be driving now. Man, but no, nah, we, we don't like Gucci drive. <laughs> just can't let Gucci drive. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't trying to pay for nobody nothing. No, nah, I'm just talking. But yeah, no, nah, he know what he's doing, man. Young, up and coming. He got a nice little project that's in the woodworks that I let y'all make. If he let me let y'all see it, you know what I'm saying? He got a little they, project they, in the they, work. Might, they might get a sneak, sneak peek of it. They <laughs> might. Yeah, he got a nice little project he, uh, on the way. And he young, you know what I'm saying? And I support everybody that's up and coming with the car game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, but that's because you was in reverse. Yeah, like, if and you went, uh, when you any car you have that's got big wheels on it, no matter what, when you put it in your when you put your shit in reverse, it's gonna rub. Yeah. Even my car with the twenty fours on it, if I put it when you in reverse, it's like the front end like drops or uh, something. Yeah, the front end it yeah. cambers your wheels, yeah. so it negative cambers it pushes the bottom of your wheels out. So no matter what, when you're reversing or you'll see cars the the negative camber or the positive camber, right? And you will sometimes rub. Depending on, but then we was on the incline too, so yeah. that's that's what had to do with it. But that wasn't no, y'all see how we was riding this joint. This joint don't do no rubbing. We talking about that rub that you see how it's squatting back there. Hey, and it ain't rubbing. It ain't rubbing. You hey, feel me? Big so. blue was up in this bitch, <laughs> and it ain't rubbing. With my dad in this. Exactly. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? So. It gave my stamp, man. It got my approval, man. They did a real good job. Excellent job on it. Uh, actually, we over here. While we over here, I'm also going to uh, let y'all get a sneak peek. We test fitting the new wheels on the Chevelle, man. Uh, we finally got the new wheels in for the uh, Chevelle. 24-inch uh, Ford Autos. They're actually in the back of the truck. We actually got the Chevelle over here, too. Well, we pulling up. Y'all see how we pulling up? Yep, yep, yep. Y'all see the Chevelle? So, yeah. So we finna get this Chevelle mocked up so they can tell us what the measurements we need so we can order this 9 inch Ford for it. Uh, we actually had a ticket to a shop earlier and uh, they actually had a 12 bolt on deck that should supposed to be just drop in, you know what I'm saying? But then I got to tell them, bro, like, man, if we gonna pay for somebody else's rear end, that they have the same rear end that's in the car, we might as well just go with the 9 inch Ford because they went with a 9 inch Ford and we got the new motor on the way, a lot of, dope 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 stuff on the way y'all but i ain't gonna talk y'all ear off man i'm gonna get out my boy car before he kill us <laughs> and uh let me know what y'all think man griselda man 96 impala 26 inch replica ss wheels i ain't gonna lie this is probably one of my favorite impala ss's right now man big shouts out to my boy castro he definitely holding to you know what i'm saying we ain't putting nobody in competition they all chicago well, not Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Because it'd be a lot of dilemmas on people saying Chicago, Illinois, man, Midwest, however you want to say it. These are some of the cleanest, cleanest 96 Impalas around. On the internet and stuff like that, Midwest, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of nasty bills, bro, and I'm going to keep dropping this pressure, you know what I'm saying? Because I love it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been tapping in and rocking with us, man. Then y'all see the Chevelle over there looking so good. Woo! Yeah. But it's cold though, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all probably can see the smoke and everything coming out my mouth and everything, man. It's freezing, you know what I'm saying? But we out here trying to get these cars done, get this content to y'all. Get y'all a sneak peek on the, little, the new wheels, you know what I'm saying? A little something, a little something, yeah. You see we got them lips on there now. So 2022, we bringing a lot of pressure, man. And last but not least, uh, 
Cream Dollar Cream giveaway is three days away. You hear me? It's three days away. So make sure y'all get y'all tickets, man. I'm gonna try to put the link for the uh, tickets in my bio uh, of this video. So, and I'm gonna drop this video tonight for y'all so we can hurry up and, you know what I'm saying, get that going. And the winner will be announced. Happy holidays to everybody. You know, Christmas is coming up and that's why we're doing the Christmas giveaway. So I'm gonna just drop it early, you know what I'm saying? And mention it early, man. Happy holidays to everybody. Be safe, safe travels. Cause I know everybody going to different states and stuff like that to visit family and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go and step off and bed it up, chop it up with them. And I'll get back to y'all once we get the uh, new wheels uh, mounted on here to see what it's gonna look like. And tell me what y'all think. Woohoo! That joint looking good now. Hey, so 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 I can say it now, the wheels for sale. Oh, they sold. Oh, they sold. It's over with, y'all. It's over with. Y'all had a chance before. They they gone now. Come on, dude. Come and get your shit. Oh, yeah. I ain't know. It's over with. They gone, y'all. Floating caps and all. They gone. So now we're about to unload the, uh, the new wheels up, bring them in, mock them up, see what they look like. You know, I want to take a couple pictures, see what it look like with the new wheels. Let y'all see what y'all think. Do y'all like the old wheels better or the new wheels better once we mount them up and stuff like that? You know, we rocking with what we rocking with, but we just like seeing what y'all think, man. Get y'all something to talk about. That's all. Like I said, and I never really be showing y'all good videos. Y'all see how the interior got the nice little Chevelle embroidered into the door panels got the steering wheel on the way for the new wheels got the dakota digital dash it's got the nice nine inch alpine radio and then you see how they made the custom shifter plate and all the buttons these are for like the lights the windows power locks and stuff like that got the kick pods at the bottom vintage ac But yeah, this joint pressure though. This is probably one of my favorite builds right now. Definitely appreciate my boy for letting me guide him in all the right directions of putting this joint together. Actually, I actually ended up finding the car and helping put the car together. So it turned out nice, but we're gonna keep on going. Too far to stop now, man. <laughs> Whoo, that joint look good though. I ain't gonna lie. We tell the man, pull the wheels off, put the other ones on. This man under here telling us this, 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 and this. What the fuck is my phone doing? But y'all see it? It's clean up under there. My phone's fucked up. I'll call you back. I can't get the fuck to do nothing. Y'all see it. I, I, I'll call you back. All right, so pretty much what we got going on now, <laughs> y'all, is that we debating on if well, we keep the 12 volt. Eliminators on here and the C clip is still on here. Huh? They got C clip eliminators that turn this rear end in from a oh, C clip axle to a bolt in axle. But uh -huh. yet they still have that on there. The whole purpose of that is to narrow. You know, what's the name them didn't change? They didn't fuck with the, the uh, rear end. They didn't, uh, all Doing they did was, uh, put the rims on. The coil up. They ain't, okay, okay, yeah, well, whoever did this. Yeah, I, I mean, they're motor action. That's how we got the car, bro. Yeah, they, they ain't saying them, they do that shit. They just put the wheels on, the, all that, uh, the other stuff. Yeah, see, that was like uh, that when they got never, the car. And well, why was leaking? Right remember I said this, I had this. this, this this way you this side had grease on it. Yeah. So nobody ever siliconed it when they put it in it. Right. right. We'll get that shit so that situated when we do that. So right now, what we got going on, we debating on if we're going to keep the 12 bolt rear end or go with the 9 inch for it. The 12 bolts got the wheel wood brakes, coilovers, everything. Let me paint that bitch. It look good, but it's just, it's the fucked up part is already paid for all this shit. Base. So now you're yeah. I just had to do that. I, I, his brother did my other, my car when, when I just cracked the frame. 
I had to put new uppers, Lord. Y'all see? Trying to fit, fit that look. All right, y'all. This is what the new wheel look like on there. No, no, that's my, no, that's my buddy. You fucking around. Man, this the, this the old wheel. Let y'all see the difference. And let me know what y'all think. Y'all like the old wheels or the new wheels? I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely feeling them new wheels. Yeah. Yeah. We gonna uh you, you got another jack though. Just use the jack the other jacket no, with huh? We have jack. We got, we could, but Tim, can we jack the front up? Look, the car's still be sitting off in the air and shit. We don't wanna put it down. We just wanna It's on the jack stand, so you definitely could take the fucking the uh, use the other jack. Can we sit it down, Tim? All right, so pretty much what we have going on is with the back, it's not the we took the brake caliper off to just so we can see if it is sat in so we can get the squat effect without the rear end being shortened. But the by us going with the two inch bigger lip, we can't do that and we ain't finna mess the car up. So we're gonna put the stock wheel back on. We don't. We're gonna put the stock, the uh, stock, the other wheels. We're gonna put these wheels back on the back, and then we're gonna put a new wheels on the front, just so we could get a better effect on what it's gonna look like and stuff like that. So, so far, so I'm gonna tell y'all, I like the new wheels off the rip. But what y'all think? I think that wheel looks a little more sporty. This is more like a luxury type wheel. I think it look way more sporty with that. And then now I got that big lip in the back. So, I'm rocking with the new wheels. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you got jokes, man. Them Fantasia looks. <laughs>